noon and historic visit today at a school in Northwest Miami Dade. One of the first black students to attend the school in the 60s returned today. And local 10 News reporter Larry Livingston has more from that school. I'm about to be in tears, I'm telling you. Like a kid again. A 64 year old kid walking the halls of a very different but very familiar place. I walked in here the first time in third grade. Man, that, that was amazing. In 1961, Lorenzo Johnson stepped inside Erlington Heights Elementary, one of the first black students to desegregate Erlington and Miami Dade schools. It was the newspaper clipping showing him, his mother and sister walking into what would no longer be an all white school that inspired today's visit and lesson in living black history. Yeah, I'm more excited than the kids were. Johnson says his integration experience at Erlington overall was a positive one. His goal is to inspire this generation of students to stay focused and achieve their young dreams. Anytime you could take something out of that that you think that is negative, it's a positive in that. And Lorenzo Johnson Sr., he says giving back to this community is extremely important. Right now he's working on a youth anti-violence coalition. He went on to play football at Iowa, and he tells us that right now he just hopes that these young kids take what he has to say and, is, and they are inspired to do much better. He's a pastor here in South Florida, lives in Miami Lakes, founding pastor of his church, the Faith Tabernacle Baptist Church in Miami Gardens. For now, we're live in Brownsville, Aaron Livingston, Local 10 News.